Hi everybody, it's Fiona from Jiggy Wigglers again. I um, hope you've all had a nice day. It's been another lovely day in the sunshine today. So I hope you have got your pyjamas on and you've brushed your teeth and you've got your cuddlies and snugglies all ready to snuggle down and listen to our bedtime story today. So on Monday, I gave you some clues as to the, what the story would be. Um, what did I say? I said the story had a green leaf, it had apples, oranges, pears, and it had this guy in as well, which is our great big caterpillar. Here he is, look. He's lovely when he comes to our groups, isn't he? He does lovely caterpillar cuddles, wraps you up in his big long tail, and he's lovely and fluffy. He loves the fuss, this one. So the, those are the clues. So the book is, of course, The Hungry Caterpillar. Really good story, this one. We love this one. So get yourselves all nice and comfy. And here we go. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. It's just their tiny little egg. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. And on Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. There he is, he's got a very sad face because he's eating all of that and he's got a poorly tummy now. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through at one nice green leaf and after that he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. Look how big he's grown. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon pushed his way out and he was a beautiful butterfly. There you go, look, he's been in his cocoon and he's turned into a lovely butterfly. And that's the end. Now the weather's getting warmer, I've seen lots of butterflies flying around my garden actually, so if you have a look in your gardens and when you're out on your walks, you might be able to see some as well. Right, so, before we go today, I've got some shout outs for everybody that comes to my group. So let's have a look. So from my Monday groups, I'm going to say hello to Ava and Heidi, their sisters. Going to say to hello to Lila and Luca, to Sienna, to Annabelle and Emily, and Olive. On my Wednesday groups, we're going to say hello to Darcy and Macy, Stanley, Mia, and Baxter and Tessie. And from my Friday groups, I'm going to say hi to Susanna, um, or Ted, Isla, and Martha. So I hope you're all well. I'm missing you all lots. It won't be long till we're all back together and having all our jiggy fun again, okay? So I hope you enjoyed the story, and I hope you're all ready for bed now. So go and get yourselves tucked up in bed and have a really nice sleep. And I'll be back tomorrow telling you how to make our chicks ready for our Easter jiggy session on Friday. Okay, so I'll speak to you all soon. Lots of love. Bye.